Hello guys, in this video we're gonna, you know, continue talking about the procedures and we're gonna stress on the idea or the definition of a leaf procedure. So, leaf procedure is basically, uh, you know, as the definition here says, is a procedure, a function, that don't make any calls to other procedures uh, during its, its execution. So, it's basically no nested calls. So, we have the idea from programming languages that you might call a function from another function, okay? So, leave procedure is not like this. Leave procedure is a procedure that you call and this uh, procedure will not call any other function during its execution, okay? So, uh, that's why by basically they call it leave because leave, in a, for example, if you have a tree, you know, the, the leaf is, you know, the... Uh, doesn't have any branches so it is the end node or end you know uh, uh, end uh, you know yeah it end node in in a tree for example or a gland <coughs> and we already you know explored uh, or see two examples uh, for a leaf procedures last uh, last videos and you know here is for example uh, is the example that we see you know Although I changed, you know, uh, jump, uh, any jump here to jump uh, and the link and the jump uh, return. And also I stick to the convention of using, you know, uh, A0 and A1 uh, for the argument and V0 for the return argument. Uh, also, we see another example in which we have two calls to the same function in the main, uh, you know, uh, and you know one note here to uh, you know uh, just to uh, verify the kind of protocols that we explored last time is that we don't use here the stack we because we said that if the procedure will use any of the uh, uh, S registers okay then we need to store them first in the stack overwrite them and th then recall their previous values be before we return back to the main uh, function okay but since here in our procedure we don't use st uh, the s registers uh, and we only make use of the temporary registers which are which are which are temporary then we uh, we are allowed not to you know uh, store any s register uh, in the stack in this you know lecture we're gonna uh, explore another example for leaf procedure but this time we're gonna use a stack so, and here is, you know, another uh, simple function. This time we have four arguments, okay? And we define here some local variable in this C code, or, uh, or basically this, you know, uh, function called f. And we're gonna save f in s0, and the return is a result in, uh, in v0. So basically, we're gonna uh, calculate this uh, calculation or this math, uh, uh, you know, uh, calculation in, in register S0, then we're going to copy S0 into V0 and return this uh, V0. So let's see how we're going to do this. So this is the situation before, you know, we execute any line in the leaf example, or this basically the, you know, the label here, which is basically the, name, the function name. So... We have the stack, this portion of the stack is filled and the last, you know, uh, location in the stack that we, uh, you know, we write on is, is number 40 or, or, or ad, at, at address 40. So, what's going to happen here is that, first of all, since we're going to use S0, we should, you know, uh, store it in the stack. To store something in the stack, we should decrease. So, for example, we're gonna use if if we're gonna store one variable in the stack, one register in the stack, we should decrease the uh, stack pointer by four and use that address to store, you know, the register. For example, it's zero in that case. So that's basically the first, you know, step here. So we read we reduce the SCB or decremented SCB by four. So instead of locating uh, pointing at 40, it now look, uh, pointing at 36. And then we store S0 in that location. Then we're going to do, you know, uh, the body of the procedure. 
So uh, we have, uh, I think, G plus H minus I plus J. Okay? So let's assume that, you know, uh, G is in A0 and uh, H is in A1, A1 I is in uh, A2, J is in A3. How we can assume this? So the main function did this. So the main function, uh, you know, did this assignment for us so the programmer knows that the four arguments are located in a0 e1 e2 e3 good so we're gonna calculate a g plus h which is a0 plus a1 and store that in t0 then add uh, uh, i plus j which is a2 plus a3 and store that in t1 then you know subtract them and put the subtraction result in s0 Okay, so this is a subtraction, you know, instruction that we explored before. After that, we should uh, we should move this to uh, v0 again. So we do that using uh, the add instruction, but we add s0 to uh, to zero, which is basically s0, and assign this to v0. Okay. Now, before we return back to the main function. We should return the stack pointer and retrieve the old value of, of S0. How we can do that? We load, uh, we load word S0 uh, and 0 stack pointer. Uh, and then, you know, uh, uh, return the stack pointer to its original location. So we're going to add 4. So uh, 36 plus 4, it will be 40, which is basically the original location. Then we return back using jump register instruction RA. Okay. That's it, guys, for the leaf procedure. So in the next, uh, you know, uh, uh, videos, we're going to explore another sort of uh, or kind of procedures, which is non-leaf procedures, in which a procedure or a function can call other functions. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.